Hey, what's up? So, my brother and I are in Torn right now. Torn. And we rented a motorboat, as you can probably tell. <laughs> what's really cool about this place is that it's a bunch of canals. So, it's really beautiful to boat through these houses and bridges. I think we even have some other boats behind me. We'll go ahead and let them go through first. We are basically doing a like two to three hour journey on this track where we see a bunch of little fun stuff on the way. <laughs> There's a lot of ducks here, as you can tell. Just chilling like villains. But yeah, we already saw the church. There was a church that we passed by built in 1871 and there's a lot more fun stuff on this route there's a windmill built around 1900 swim island which i think is just a place where you can swim but i don't know for sure there's a watchtower that you can climb uh, that you would dock your boat and then climb Oh, there's also an ice cream boat that I'm really excited for. It's supposed to be like on the water and you can get ice cream from it. So pretty stoked about that. And there's also a nature center. So there's a lot to look forward to. We're in the very beginning of the boat phase. So yeah, much more fun. And this is a pretty popular area for the Netherlands um, because of this sort of boat experience. So, at least for people within Europe, I don't think it's really as well known for people that don't live in Europe. So, yeah, at least no, I hadn't heard about it before. <laughs> but yeah, it's we're lucky that it's a beautiful day today because it was raining like crazy yesterday, so it's the perfect day to do this boat ride. Let's do some tapping on the boat real quick. And just to give you an idea, we're controlling it with the rudder. Those of you who do not know much about um, driving a motorboat, you basically would do it in the opposite direction of which way you want to go. So if you want to go right then you would do it left and then left for right so it's opposite yeah and you probably can tell it's a bit windy here too <laughs> even with the little my little windscreen on top <laughs> Okay, let's get going. Adventure. My brother is filming this, so that's why you can't see him at the moment. Okay. All right, let's keep going.
Hey guys, so now we are getting towards the end of our little boat ride. Um, we looked for that ice cream boat, but it wasn't there where it said it was supposed to be on the map, so maybe it only comes out at certain times of the day. We don't know, but it's okay. Otherwise, it was still a pretty cool little adventure. Alright, as you can see, that uh, sign over there, the number 5, dictates kind of that's towards the end of our route. So, pretty cool. Thanks for joining me on this one, this little ride. Ah, so peaceful. We've arrived at Castile de Har in Utrecht. According to this castle's website, this is the largest and most luxurious castle in the Netherlands. It also is surrounded by gorgeous gardens covering over 135 acres of land, which would be a bit more pleasant of a walk on a non-windy, rainy day. Although, I must admit, the rain is super relaxing. Oh, did I mention my brother's still with me? Yeah, he'll be a part of this whole Netherlands journey. And off we go! Exploring the castle was pretty fun. I definitely spent a solid couple hours here. In each of the rooms, they had a little info card where you could learn about the purpose of the room and or the people who resided there. Whether it be the chambers of the lord of the castle, or his mistress, or wealthy friends, or even servants. In addition to the info cards, they also had actual human guides standing around to answer any questions you might have about the castle. They're also probably there to make sure you don't break or steal anything. <laughs> For their privacy, I tried not to get any of them in the video. Well, let's follow the sign, shall we? Quite a view, isn't it? It's estimated this medieval house was founded in the 13th century. It fell into disrepair in the 18th and 19th centuries. It was restored again around 1912. And there you go, there's your quick snapshot of the medieval fortress. Time for a quick snack, and then on to the next destination. This city was poppin', y'all. So much so, that you actually need to be careful you're not getting hit by a bicycle. Yep. No need to fear cars, because it's the bikes that run this town. The city is definitely worth visiting, and is home to Utrecht University, the largest university in the Netherlands. So it has those nice college town vibes in the streets. The canals here are just as nice as the ones in Amsterdam but with less people, so it's slightly less touristy. Plus, 
There are tons of shops and cafes everywhere. Not sure if you can tell, but this shop's sign above my head literally says YOLO. It's a piercing shop. Alas, piercing my ears have been enough for me. I also checked out the Dom Tower, the highest and oldest church tower in the Netherlands. Unfortunately, it was under construction, so I couldn't go up it. Just my luck. My brother and I ended up grabbing a bite at this gourmet hot dog shop. The one we picked had teriyaki dressing on it, so it was pretty unique. And it tasted pretty good. Look at that smile. <laughs> Alright, the adventure continues. Let's keep going. Now, the question is, have you heard of the city Zvola? It's known to be a culinary city with some of the best restaurants in the country. I, for one, was loving their cheese shops. Look at all that cheese. It looks so Gouda. <laughs> Get it? Like Gouda cheese? Anyways, as we walked to the city center, we saw some fun graffiti. We also passed by the Visual Arts Museum, but didn't have enough time to go inside. Then, we tried some Dutch croquettes, which are basically deep-fried, breaded roll with a meat filling. And lastly, we took a pineapple cheese crepe to go. We're at our final destination, of the Netherlands adventure. Woohoo! We made it! This tiny town, Thorn, is also known as the White Village. Can you guess why? Yep, practically all of the buildings here are white. This also happens to be one of the oldest cities in the country. We took a look at the Gothic church, which is pretty hard to miss in a place this small. It was very, very tall. One key takeaway I had from the city is that the streets were so wide. Wow, look at all this room I have. I loved how spacious it was. And maybe it just felt bigger because there were less people walking around. I would say this was definitely a great spot to end our journey in the Netherlands. Thanks so much for joining us on this adventure. And ciao for now.